What is going on guys? I am in a rickshaw right now. Oh yeah, yeah. We're headed to Paso Nanka. And this is a famous food street here in Zamb Zamboanga. One of the more famous food streets. I'm with my friend here who's riding me. What's your name, brother? Al-Sad. Huh? Al. Al-Sad. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Al-Sad. So we're headed there now. It's my last day in Zamboanga. So far, I really enjoyed the city. But I haven't gotten a chance to explore this food street. So let's go check it out. the food is there's stands this way there's stands down that way there's stuff over here so we are gonna go try some stuff now I have no idea where to start I'm just gonna kind of choose and let's see seems like there's some stuff over here that I haven't tried yet let's go see what they have here all right chicken in a sal Ooh, this guy's making some grilled chicken. Hello, how are you? Good? Good. What do you have? This looks good. My friend, what are you making here? This, this, this one? This. Same thing? Same. Same thing? I don't know, this guy smells very good, you know? <laughs> In a sal. In a sal? Can I try one piece? Yeah. How much 100. is one piece? 100. 100? Yeah. One piece is 100? Okay, well, I'll take one piece of chicken in a sal. Please, yeah, one piece. So he takes the piece of chicken and puts it on the grill here. Chicken oil. Chicken oil? Yeah, ah, chicken okay. oil. Alright, guys. So, is this halal? Yes, halal. It is halal. Okay, good. But one pork. No pork? No. Okay, good. <laughs> so, he's putting some chicken oil yeah. onto the chicken here. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, guys. yummy. So, my goal today is to try to spend le less than 500 pesos if possible. So, this is 100 now. Let's see if we can do like a little 500 peso challenge where we try a bunch of different foods in this area and see. But, seems pretty popping and I think it gets more busier as the night progresses. So, let's go see. Let's, let's wait for this chicken. Oh yeah, look at that. Rice. Uh, rice. Rice? No, yeah. just just the chicken is okay. I have to save some space. I want to try different foods, you know. Okay. What's your What's your business name? Ina Mawis Inasal. Mawis? Inasal. In, Inasal. Okay. It's spicy? Yeah, they regular. Can you make spicy? Yes. Yeah, I like spicy. <laughs> this is spicy? Yes. Okay, I'll take the spicy one. Uh, I come from the US, but my family is originally from Pakistan. Yeah. Pakistan. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so you take some rice too? Yeah, rice too? No, no, no. Just one is okay. Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit. Poquito. Puts it inside of a banana leaf. For here, it's okay. I eat here. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. So here is the chicken with the rice. Thank you. And the gloves? Yes. This is the gloves? Okay. So they don't have spoons and forks. You just use a glove. So we're going to do it like the locals. Alright, I got to put on the glove. I think it's a bit hot right now, but wow. Look at this piece of chicken, man. Amazing. Ooh, it's hot. Please. Thank you. In the rice. Got some rice. Alrighty. So, once I can kind of dig into this a little bit. Give you guys a... So this is chicken in a sal. But spicy. Mm. Wow. The oil. Has a bit of a barbecue flavor. 
and you know spicy in the Philippines is not spicy for me but it's like a good amount of spice so you can squeeze some lime on it as well definitely has like a barbecue kind of taste obviously you saw how he cooked it over like a coconut coal I think so it definitely gives it that flavor as well but overall really yummy and it's halal so for all of you who only eat halal it's perfect Mm. Oh wow. They gave me something with it like look like carrots but I think it's like pickled with some spices so it tastes very yummy. Very yummy. Masara. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you brother. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot. But yeah guys, very delicious. Mm. So, all of them is 100 pesos, which is literally like less than two dollars. I mean, you gotta love it. So, this orange thing that they gave me, it's actually papaya, which is why it has like a little bit of a sweet flavor, but also. It definitely has some spices, so it's marinated in some spices. I've been told. But yeah, overall, this meal is very yummy. I'll show you the restaurant name once I'm done. But budget foods and super yummy. There it is, guys. Meal number one is done. Thank you, brother. So now it's time to go try some other stuff. But that was amazing. I'll give you the restaurant name right now for 100 pesos I'm almost already full I have to save some space thank you Marla where can I pay for the food here give them the money okay nice to meet you guys have a good night all right 120 but he told me 100 the water sir 20 pesos I forgot about that <laughs> hello baby hey baby hello da. <laughs> hey guys that's the name of the place maui's hot spot so if you're ever here in zambuanga in uh Basananka, you can definitely try this out it's really good Alrighty, guys so it's a bit dark but the sun has set and this is when the night markets really hello. start hello how are you <laughs> this is when the night markets really get booming so let's go see what else we can find around here. Some good foods available in this area. I don't know what they have here. Let's see. Some, oh, what's this? Just a little shop with drinks and stuff. What's this? Hi sir, how are you? Oh, this is like gizzard. Hmm. What's this? Fish ball. Fish ball? And this one? Quick quick? Lato lato. Like quick quick? And this one? Sorry. Bisau. Bisau? Okay. What, what is inside this one? Intestine. Oh, okay, okay. Can I try this uh, fish bowl? One, how much is one piece? Five. Five pesos? Okay. Okay, yeah. I'll try one piece. So she puts the fish balls inside of the oil which is already hot, so then she just quickly cooks it up. Let's try these fish bowls. What's the name of your stand? Do you have a name? Melanie. Huh? Melanie? Melanie? Okay. Your name is Melanie? Yes. Ah, nice to meet you, Melanie. Hello. <laughs> okay. This is my first time trying these fish bowls. I haven't tried them before. What are you guys going to try? The one Oh, this one. Yeah, it's spicy. You must try this. Huh? Yes, please. Let's try this. I, I tried this quick quick in yeah. Cebu, but like it was smaller quick quick. Yeah. It's what? It's the small one. It's the bigger one. Okay. Not a chicken. This is a chicken egg. Oh. Okay, so guys, this one is a chicken egg, and the one that I tried before is a quail egg, I think. The other one is a quail egg, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is me? Thank you. Look at that. Dip it into the spicy sauce. Right. Here we go, guys. 
This is my official spicy fishball taste test. How about this one? Mm. I've Have tried you that. Ever tried that one? Here? That's the gizzard, right? Chicken chicken intestine. Yeah, yeah I've oh, tried this. Awesome. I tried it in Borakai actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Borakai. You went to Borakai? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's very yummy. It's actually not as spicy as you would expect. It's actually more sweet. Like a lot of foods in the Philippines. Mm. But it's really good. And only five pesos. <laughs> it's five pesos for one stick? I mean five pesos. Wait, I can't even calculate that in dollars. Maybe like one cent or something? Mm. Do you put this in the spicy sauce or no? Yeah, we love spicy. You do? Yeah. Because usually Filipino people don't like spicy food. Some of them. Because my family is from Pakistan and we eat very spicy food. So for me this is not spicy. My cousin also, they are from Dubai. Dubai? Yeah. Nice. Are you from Zamboanga? Yeah. I like your city. It's very nice. Yeah, it's very nice here. And the people are very kind. So, I really had a... <laughs> like you guys. Yeah, yeah. What's your name? I'm Ali. Ali. And you're, in, you're, you're a nurse? Yeah, I'm a nursing student. Nursing student. Okay. God bless you. That's a, that's a very noble job that you're doing. Yeah. You're not just a vlogger like me, you know? This is not noble. What you're doing is saving lives. You know? Yeah. What are you doing? Very yummy. Try this one. Try this. Okay. Okay. Let me try one. Let me try one. Okay, five peso? Yeah. Uh, just like two pieces. Two pieces. Five peso. Okay, give that to them. Some to them. Because I can't eat. I have to try many things, you know? What else do you recommend? We must try that Allegra because it's delicious also. Oh, like a uh, iced coffee? Yeah, do you like iced coffee? Of course, I love iced coffee. That fruit salad. I already had two co three coffees today. They also have yogurt there. You must try it. Mm, okay, so I will try that, but that's dessert. Yeah, dessert. that's more dessert. Yeah. So first I have to eat like regular food. Then. My rice carrot. Okay, salamat. All right, so this is, I have no idea what this is, but I'm going to try it. The good thing here is usually there's no pork. That's the good thing. Because I don't eat pork, so yeah. All right, so here we go. You don't eat pork, okay. What is this? Can you describe this for us? It's uh, intestine. Intestine of what? Chicken? Chicken. Not chicken. They put it in a... Uh, a fried batter. Mmm. You know? I'll be honest, I didn't like that one too much. This it's just, one? Yeah, it just, want to try it just tasted like I'm eating the, you know, waste of the animal, you know? I, I can, I like this one at least because it has the cover. It's clean, sir. You like it? It's clean? <laughs> like they take out all the feces and stuff? They, they clean it. I don't know about that. Cause last time I tried it, I felt like I was eating the... The poop or something. <laughs> hmm. This is really. What What is the name for this? What do you say? What do you call this in Tagalog? In Philippines? Isao. Isao. Okay, guys. So this is Isao. Definitely a must try. Actually, very yummy. So. 10 pesos. What's, isao? What's that? Also intestine? <laughs> yeah, it's so much same, intestine. But that one, one. Okay, I will try some other things, then I will come back. They put it in the dough, like dough. Mm. Then they fried it. Let's go. Okay. Very good. You want some? You want this? No, no. You want this? <laughs> okay. How okay. they do? Yummy. So, ten pesos for all of those that things that you saw me eat. Ten pesos, no? Yes. If you guys are here in Zamboanga, you can come to Miss Melanie. She's doing a very nice job here. The food is yummy. Walking down, there's a... Uh, oh, hey, how are you? What's up, my friend? This is a barbecue store, man. Gang, 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 gang. What's up? I'm uh, just trying some different foods here. What do you recommend to try? I already tried chicken in asal. I tried uh, balot. I tried the intestine chicken. What else? 
I don't know, something that's special in Zamboanga. Barbecue, sir. Barbecue? Chicken skin. Chicken skin? Like what? Migoreng. Oh, okay, yeah. Let me try one of these. It's migoreng? Oh, it's like uh, Indonesian almost. Yeah, I've tried this in Indonesia. Yeah, I'll try one migoreng. Yeah. One spicy. Migoreng. Spicy, yeah, very spicy. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Huh? Shout out, shout out. What's the name of this uh, restaurant? It's that sign is here? Let me let me show you right, so, Let me show you guys the sign. June store and Pinoy Inasal. So these guys are also in the Paso Pasonanka, right? Pasonanka area. And this is the Mi Goreng with the spicy sauce. It's almost like what you can get in uh, Indonesia, but this is Filipino, Pinoy style. Yeah, let's try it. Can I sit here with you guys? Yeah? No problem, you sit down, sit down. Sit down with me. How about the drink? Uh, oh, I forgot my water. I had a water. Yeah. And how much is one? 40. 40 pesos, okay. So, all right. So as you guys know, I'm trying to stay under 500 pesos tonight. See if we can manage to do that. All right, so here we have some migoreng. Look with some spicy sauce they put an egg on top and it's simple just noodles egg hold on so you guys can see they put the camera down a bit noodles egg and some spicy sauce nothing too crazy guys nothing too fancy simple foods but yummy oh wow look at that once you pop the egg the yolk comes out very nice so it's pretty fresh it's not like the egg has been sitting there for too long. Oh man. Tonight guys, we are eating. We are feasting. Mom, barbecue halal. Halal, mom. Yeah. Thank you. How about the taste? Very good. It's spicy, but sweet at the same time. Yeah, sweet, spicy. Yeah. For 40 pesos, how can you go wrong with this? And this one doesn't have any meat in it. I wish I would have warmed it up a little bit, but either way, it's good. So these are just like your typical Filipino street foods, you know? Simple foods and very reasonably priced. So, so guys, these guys are speaking Chabacano, which is the local uh, dialect here in Zamboanga. And it's very similar to Spanish, which I can understand a little bit. So speak some Chabacano. Yes. Say something in Chabacano. What is guys? <laughs> Yeah. My man spitting right now. He's spitting right now. Hey. He's a rapper. But you can hear some words are like they sound a lot like Spanish. Actually, the same words because at one point the Spaniards were here, so some of the language was left over, but they made it their own. Plus 40. I haven't even spent 200 yet. It's the 500 peso challenge. I don't even think I'm gonna be able to spend all of it by the time I'm full. Hey man, rap for us, man. Rap for the camera. Yo, 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 we here now in Salupud, California, Salupud. Hey. <laughs> Good stuff, man. Hey. Yeah, taki kami aura. Uban de almond si bossing ben bingo aku bi malakara. Hey. Hey. It's the Zamboanga Drake yes. right there. Zamboanga Drake. So, guys, the meal was great. The company was awesome. What's your name? Gemma. Gemma. You are a sweetheart, Gemma. Thank you so much. Do I pay here? Okay, I will pay you. 
pay me. <laughs> I will pay you, yeah. What's your name? River. River? Yes. River? <laughs> river. Like the river? <laughs> Maybe. Ah, beautiful name. Thank you. <laughs> okay, 40 pesos, right? Yes. Here's 40 bucks. 40 bucks. Here's 20. 20. Wait, is this 10 or 5? Yes, 10. 10. 20, 30, 40. Thank you. Very Muchas nice. gracias. Muchas gracias. Okay. I'll see you guys. Salamat. Bye bye. Maybe I will come back to get a beer yeah, in yeah. a little bit. I have to go try some other food. Thank you. Alright, thank you. Where else do you recommend to try? What else? This way? Tempura. Tempura? Yeah. This way? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Hello. Salamu alaikum. How are you, my brother? Um, can I try some this sati you have? Yes, yes. Sati? Yes. Sati is like the special food in Zamboanga, no? Yes, yes. Can I try uh, some sati? Yes. Which one is the sati? Dai, sati dai, prepare dai. You chose the chicken, what, what, what kind of chicken you want? Okay, I already tried this in Asal. I already tried this before. I want to try something different. Yes, you have to choose any of these ones. Okay. Because sati is the sauce. Sati is the sauce. It's the sauce with this oh, kind of rice. And okay. And what? And one. what is this? Bulalo. Bulalo. That's beef. Beef broth. You have it? Yes. yes. Can yes. I? Oh, I will try bulalo. Okay. Because I haven't tried it. Yeah. Okay. Beef bulalo. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And no, also. You only want the bulalo. You don't want the, the, the Because I already tried this before. Okay. Yes. I, I just want the bulalo now. All right. I'm thinking I'm thinking the satay is like something like its own dish or something, but it's just the sauce. It's a sauce together with the rice. With the rice. The I already tried that before. You yeah, tried that yeah. Before. So, <laughs> so I want to try now. bulalo. One order? One bulalo. Okay. One Thank one you bulalo. so much. And what's the name of your restaurant here? Australia. 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 Oh, that means a star. Oh, a star. Australia. Australia means a star. Means a star. Okay, okay. So guys, I don't think they have a sign, but Australia in the Pasonanka area, yes. right? Pasonanka? Yes. And we're gonna get some bulalo, some beef bulalo, which is want. a beef broth. I wanna yes. sit, can I sit here? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is your restaurant also? No, uh, we stay here for a while because the owner and me are friends. Our friends, ah, oh, very nice. Awesome. So far, my time in Zamboanga has been very, very nice. Yes, because very the, nice Zamboanga. Because the people are very kind. You know, Mam Dina is I'm the... from the US. Oh, you're from the US. Uh, you look like Indian to But me. my family is from Pakistan. So, oh, good, so you're a Pakistani. Good guess. Yeah. <laughs> my, my stepfather is a Pakistani. Really? Yes. Oh, what do you think about Pakistani people? Good people? Yes. I think. But then he's from Hong Kong. Oh, he's from Hong Kong. He's okay, from okay. But Very, he's nice. A Pakistan. Very nice. See, what a small world, guys. Yes, she has a Pakistani think, stepfather. Um, he's a president of women's organization. President. Oh, you are the president yeah. of the women's organization? Yes. What's your name? My name is Dina. Dina, okay. Very nice. Guys, she's a. She's a and the owner of this. And the owner. She's a, she's a VIP. <laughs> She's my friend. She's a very good friend of mine. Ah, okay. So I just came from one of the organizations here in Zamboanga in Calabaan. Okay. Uh, they have organized a women's organization in their area. So I went there for their induction. Oh, very so nice. When I'm going home, I just passed by it. And got and some food. Ah, and now we met. And now we met. <laughs> what a great world it is. What a great world it is. So. Yeah guys, we're gonna try this beef bulalo and I'll let you know how it tastes. People have said, like when I was coming to Zamboanga, yes. they're telling me, oh, that it's not safe, you shouldn't come to Zamboanga, be careful, be careful. There's so many rebels. Yeah, yeah. but the truth is, I have not felt it once. Yeah, I have felt nothing but welcomed, I felt safe, yeah. I feel very... So that's what I'm trying to, I'm trying to break the stereotype, yes. because I think a lot of times, people develop these stereotypes based off of just some news that they hear, and they don't right. actually experience it. Don't actually yeah. experience it. It's not safe. Sambuanga is a safe place for foreigners. Yeah. But I don't recommend going to Kolo, yeah. going to Masilad. Okay. Yes. That's not really safe okay. for foreigners.
Okay. Zambonga city itself is safe. So guys, come here. They're welcoming to tourists and the food is great. Have you been to Santa Cruz? Oh, of course, I was there yesterday. It was beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. I didn't want to leave. We had to leave by 12 o'clock, but I, I wish I could stay there for the yes. night, you know? They're not, they, they don't allow people to because stay there. Because the tide gets the high. Tide gets yeah, yeah. yeah. But they only stay, people can only stay there until four, three hours four, after that. Yeah, yeah. But it was such a nice experience. We got there in like 20 minutes from the boat. Like, it was such a great experience. So far, guys, my time in Zamboanga has been marvelous and amazing. It's Unfortunately, it's my last night. Wow. Yeah, wow. Leaving tomorrow. Uh, you know, here is the famous beef bulalo. It's a common dish in the Philippines. But let's see how the Zamboanga beef bulalo is. So it's basically just a broth. And I think the beef is like kind of sits inside of it for a while, right? Yes. So it picks up the flavors and everything. Okay. So, and there's some white, uh, white onions, some lettuce, some red peppers. It's pretty simple, like most Filipino street food. But let's see how delicious it is. Alrighty, guys. This is going to be my last dish for the evening because I have eaten too much today. <laughs> I've been trying so many foods. Good luck, I hope you like it. Thank you so much. I'm sure I will. I actually so far have loved all the food here. And the good thing here, because I don't eat pork, so it's been very easy to just go out and eat food and not have to worry. You know? Yes. Yeah. Because there are so many, there are also so many Muslims Muslim people, here. yeah. So that's yeah. why most halal. of the restaurants cater. Cater to that. Yeah. Halal. So it's halal been food. halal food, yeah. Yes. So here it is, guys. Here is my official beef bulalo test. Let me get some beef in it. It's very hot. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. What can you say? Very you flavorful. Like <laughs> very flavorful. The beef is very tender. And you can tell it's been sitting in the broth for a while. So it has a nice, it's picked up some flavors of the vegetables. And obviously has a little bit of salty taste. Not too spicy, like most Filipino food, but right on point. Very brothy. This is something that on a hot day, it definitely makes you feel hotter. But on a cold day, this would be amazing. No? <laughs> Very nice, guys. And I will let you know how much this costs once I'm done. Now, it's time to eat. We like the how much it costs. Oh yeah, how much does it cost? How much does it cost? 250. 250? Okay, so I think I'm gonna hit my 500 limit today. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing like a 500 peso challenge, you know, wow, to see. Yeah, yeah. 500 peso day. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. You can squeeze lemon on it if okay. you like. Okay, great. It Let tastes me. much more. It does. Okay. All right, it's gonna squeeze some lemon on it. But this is definitely the most hearty thing I'm eating tonight. Look at this, you can see this big bone. It's from the beef. It's a big piece of big piece of beef. What part of the cow is this? Do you know? What 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 part of the cow do you think this is? What part of the cow is this? On the legs. The legs. Okay, so this is like from the from the legs. It's a big thick bone. Very yummy guys. And the lemon gives it a nice zest as well. Guys, I understand why this thing is 250 because it's very filling. And we have a, a guy here who's from Zamboanga. Yes. Your first time trying it. Yes. And what would be your honest review? Very delicious. Very delicious. The, the taste, the sp spiciness. Absolutely perfect. Magnificent. And this is not your first time trying bulalo. Yes, I'm not. But this is one of the most one of the best. I wow, think. that's a bold statement. Yeah. As a Filipino. Yeah. Yeah. So you heard it here, guys. It's not just me who's saying this. It's somebody who's from here, born and raised, and he's admitting that this is one of the best bulalo that he's tried. So, hey, listen, don't take it from me. So here it is, guys. I'm pretty much done. I kind of couldn't finish all of it. I ate a lot today, as you guys saw. But the soup is really nice also because like it picks up more flavor as you go along. So the more it, you, it sits here, the more flavor you start to feel towards the end of it. Like in the beginning, it's a little bit watery, but as you get more and more in, you taste the ginger, they have pieces of ginger, 
um, you just all the all the all the broth just kind of comes together towards the end, and the beef is just amazing. But um, yeah, one of the best best dishes that I've tried in the Philippines is beef bulalo for sure. Really, really yummy. Has a nice, decent amount of spice to it, and 250 for this dish. So if we calculate how much I spent, yeah, I spent five. Uh, 280 with the coke. Well, yeah, the dish alone is 250, but with the coke, it's 280. So I spent, yeah, pretty much 500 pesos between everything that you saw today. So, which is not bad, guys. I, I completed my 500 peso challenge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's a handsome boy. He is. Good, he's a good kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. These are my friends. Yeah, I'm from Philippines, Pasunaka, location. My, my, my Zamboanga friends. Don't panic, it's organic. Oh, yeah, let me see. Go ahead, do it. I see this one. Like, yeah, yeah. Boop, boop, boop. I can't do this. Wow. wow. Skills. That takes skills. Nice. <laughs> As you guys have seen, man, this city is very welcoming. The people are awesome. The food is good. Balot? No, it's okay. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, yeah, man, the vibes are great. So this is there, yeah, uh, Pasa Pasananco, Pasananco, Pasananco. Yeah, I think so. So if you're ever here in Zamboanga, you definitely have to come here and try out this night food market. This is Pasananco, right? Pasananco. Yeah. So make sure you come try this out, guys. I'm about to get home it's a bit late now been enjoying my time with the people here and um, remember continue to learn continue to grow and there is no growth until you leave your comfort zone I'll see you guys on the next one peace out